If you look at the activity on my phone, you'll, you'll notice a trend, a lack of hoes and an abundance of food delivery apps, DoorDash, Uber Eats, Instacart, Postmates. Don't let the gym videos fool you. This barbell ain't the only thing with two plates on it. Like the only hub in my search history is Grubhub. No cap, I put that on my browser's account. I say this to emphasize how avid of a user of these delivery apps I am. The only person I could think of that uses these apps more than me is my boy Cheerio, but he doesn't use them for the reason that you think. He doesn't order food, he delivers it. I know this because the last animation I uploaded was made almost entirely in his car off of my laptop because I decided to ride shotgun with him while he worked to see what it'd be like to be a door dasher. What about Damn! And it was an experience, I'll, I'll tell you that. And honestly, I'm surprised I'm even alive to animate this because not only does Cheerio drive mad reckless, he also drives sticks. So when he's not cutting people off and hitting U-turns at 30 miles per hour, he's switching gears hard as hell. Like bro's car jerks more than me on a Saturday night. And that's saying something. Cause I practice this dance all the time. Like this is the only jerk and I've been doing it for months. I put that on my browsers. Cheerio be whipping bro. The only thing that could stop this nigga is a blue shell. Like calm down Dom Toretto. You gonna be Paul walking to the gates of heaven if you keep this up. I'm really not trying to make this whole video about his driving but he literally turned his car off at 45 miles per hour on a hill and turned it back on when he had to steer at the bottom just to save gas. I mean I understand because with these gas prices I bet he'd rather be delivering kilos than food but golly was risking my life worth the 35 cent yes despite cheerio driving like he has five stars on gca he actually has the same rating on doordash he gets great reviews and he 100 percent does not deserve these ratings my literal first impression of dashing with them went like this we pull up to this jack-in-the-box to pick up an order. We stop at the window, he grabs like five bags of food and puts it in the back. I'm thinking we're gonna drive off after this, but then I hear, Hey, yo, yo, put, put this on your lap for me, bro. I look up and he's handing me like four more bags of food. That's nine bags. Did gonna place this order? I take my headphones off and ask him why he picked up so much food and he tells me he does Uber Eats and DoorDash and accepted four orders, not realizing how much food each person got. But he didn't seem too worried. That was until he confirmed the pickups and got the locations for the deliveries. Come to to find out both the uber eats and the doordash deliveries were on opposite sides of town which is a problem because you get in trouble if you don't make deliveries in a certain amount of time and it would be literally impossible to drive to one side of town and back to the other in 30 minutes but you know that obviously doesn't stop cheerio from trying so two spin outs three risky lane changes 110 miles an hour and 15 minutes later we pull up to the first delivery and he drops off the food and we're good but with 15 minutes left on the clock and a 20 minute ride ahead of us not including traffic it was not looking good for us, but you know, that didn't stop Cheerio from trying. So three ran red lights, four close calls with cops, and one spilled DoorDash order, and we make our way onto the, oh my god, the turbulence of the car tips over this one large cup of water, and I am just watching as this one guy's food gets drenched and soggy. But what Cheerio says next is what makes me realize this dude does not deserve the rating, because he, with the most desperate of tones, says, Hey, yo, 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 please, be quick, put the food in the bag, I'll tie it. Like, dog, is delivering? a baptized meal really worth the seven dollar fare yes wow this is actually happening this dude just got water all over his order and instead of canceling it he tells me to put it in a yo yo stop the monologue nigga and bag the food you not want me to get this bread no. So with my bare hands, I'm grabbing soggy fries, reassembling the burger, Cheerio speeding, the paper bag is reading Psalms 23. It's straight pandemonium in this whip right now. But finally, I get everything tied up, and right as we're about to exit the highway, Cheerio gets a notification from DoorDash. Turns out the guy actually cancels his order. And now that I think about it, if I ordered something on DoorDash and saw my driver go in the literal opposite direction, stop, and then head back my way, I canceled too, so luckily we never delivered the food, but the fact that we were about to drop this off at someone's door is ridiculous. Luckily for us and not the other guy, it freed up some time for us to make the last delivery and right as the time was about to end as well. So like it was mad clutch. We pull up in a rush Cheerio parks his car and books it to the destination. Unbeknownst to me, this dude just parked in the middle of the street. And the only reason I realized this is because I'm blinded by the sight of high beams frantically flashing in front of me. In a panic, I get out and get into the driver's seat, but I forgot this nigga drives 
stick. But I can't just let this dude see me get into the front seat just to not move the whip. I go to step on the brake, but I see three pedals. I go to grab the gear and I don't see an R anywhere. Who, who drives like this? I am sweating in this seat. And then this guy starts honking his horn. Something needs to be done. I gotta just move the gear, step on any of these three pedals or all three of them at the same time and just hope that the car goes backwards. I genuinely see no other way out of this. So I build up the courage to move the gear. I grab it, but thankfully Cheerio makes it back in time and his timing could not have been better because I was dead two seconds away from crashing his car or messing up the engine. Either way, it would have been a quiet ride home. <laughs> <laughs> well, not quite, because his engine would have been beatboxing, but you get the point. We do all the orders and we go home. I'm genuinely surprised he never got a complaint because stuff like this happened literally almost every time I went out with this dude. But it wasn't always his fault though. If it wasn't Cheerio making dumb decisions, it's the restaurants, bro. I remember this one time Cheerio's DoorDash card didn't work for an order and the guy asked him if he could pay for it. Like, you asking me for bread? <laughs> These niggas. When I press, you don't shift because I'm in control when I see niggas. I'm gonna really empty out my clipboard when I hop out of control B, nigga. Did you spot me? No, but DoorDash gave me your Addy. I'm at your estate now. No Eminem, but the driver's just eight miles. See my chopping your morale less like your name, mom. Kick down your door and you ain't come out. I guess you straight. <laughs> I watch way too much battle rap, bro. But yeah, after seeing what Cheerio has to go through, I definitely will be tipping my delivery drivers a lot more. They deal with some BS for sure, but the worst has to be getting an order, driving over to the place just for it to be closed. They're just closed? Fuck. That's fuck. That's just fuck. like I said. <laughs> <laughs> no! There's no way he just did that! <laughs> Been a brick, I had to let these niggas know I can spit. Hop in the whip, I take her on the cruise, I'm rocking this shit. You better duck, I keep it clutch, it's like I'm driving a stick. Ain't no Tourette's on my wrist because my watch it don't tick. Stick to spinning, you niggas can't rap. The only time he fires when you getting lit in the pack. I keep shit blunt, I am not the one for the cap. My gun be giving out shots, you getting hit from the back. Pause, these niggas know I won't war. My hooters answer the call. Chop and hit you like you Steven Cigar. Don't block your face, ain't nobody safe. He really be thinking he tightened up, so I'ma take a blade to his nape. Uh, I'm dead ass, she let me beat the box like FedEx My flow is sharp, if you're not careful, I'ma slash you like a red egg I chase the bag of get ed, don't put me in your mentions Cause when I hit the scene, you niggas ghost like Corey Kenshin Said this once, I'll say it again If I can't be a man's, then I won't be your friend You trying to grow up off my energy and your plans getting soiled You can't put me in a box like aluminum foil Get it? Cause like microwaves and aluminum foil <laughs> For sure